that sweetener, how do they call that? I think it starts with an S, but I'm not sure. I can't get on my, I can't get on the word. Pretty good, Bajitike. Thank you, darling. Yep. Stevia. Yes. Thank you, Grimvex. Yeah, pretty excited after yesterday, Brigitte. I had to, uh, to organize and clean a lot in the van, of course. But what a blast yesterday. So nice. And I'm happy the foodie fam liked it too. Hoppa. That could happen, uh, Putang, lol. <laughs> <coughs> Let's go, bro. Let's go, Fogger. <clears throat> nice break from work. Hope it's going well on work, Brigitte. Oh, we got a banger coming in. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, this we're gonna stir to each other too. Very good, very nice. And then we're gonna make a slow start on the crumble. Maybe I need to pick up Ziva from school because Tat is to the hospital with her mama. Unfortunate, but yeah, it is what it is, of course. Fingers crossed. Oh my gosh, this is going into an oven tray. We're gonna top it off with grated cheese and with bread crumbs. And then we get a crunchy layer on the top. Tasty, tasty. And it's not even expensive, guys. It's a pretty, uh, pretty budget dish. And you can eat a few days from it if you like. Oh man, I made such a mess over here. Out, 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 out. <laughs> Chefo. Parrot Pokemon or Caterpie? Wow, yeah, I'm a big fan of butter, Butterfree though. Um, I like Butterfree a lot. I like a parrot too, but. Yeah, 100% Putin, 100% my man. What do you mean, Port Law? I think Caterpie then, but I don't know what can evolve parrots, you know? I, uh, I don't know all the Pokemon anymore. I only knew the Pokemon when I was uh, still playing it myself when I was younger, but uh, I only know yellow, blue, red, and um, green or something. Uh, then we go for Caterpie because I love, uh, I love Butterfree. I think that's the best. Don't poop in the woods, lol. Don't forget to hydrate and take some lunch, chef. Oh, the baby phone can go away too again. It's a beautiful day, the sun is shining, feels food with my lovely foodie fam. Thanks for joining today, I appreciate that. Let's go ham with your boy Swan. Chili mussels, port, let's freaking go, bro. 
low barbers. That's definitely true, my man. Then the spider thinks, hmm, balls or ass, balls or ass. Ah! Low. Okay, just kidding, guys. Buggers. <laughs> Okay, DJ Hawk. Wowzers. Hey, didn't you have then thin shit to be, hey, not, not offensive of course, but uh, if you eat butter sticks, it's like, or not bro. Uh, you can always post it uh, in the Discord or whisper it, uh, Sir Yogi One, because we can't post that much links. You can whisper it to a mod as well who can post the clip or a link. Oh, apple dumpling sounds good though. Bogger. Make me jelly, man. <laughs> Terrific Tuesday. Boggers. Day four in October already again. It's going fast, fam. Oh, thank you, uh, Suryogi One. Awesome. Oh, that I don't got lemon juice. It sucks a little bit for the apples, though. Uh, I can do some vanilla syrup and some sugar and some five spices and some cinnamon on there. Oh yeah, I was searching the fist pro fishing program for you, Ebabas. I forgot to do that yesterday. Um, Indeed, Port. Time is flying. Let's get ready to rub your belly. What's up, Rumble Belly? Hope you're doing well, bro. Thanks for joining, my man. It's warm in the cave. Can't find it, lol. Yeah, I should love to go to Australia too someday, DJ Hawk. 100%, my man. Beautiful, bro. I just can't find it, man. It's super weird. 
I will, I will find it in the future, bro. Let's go, Veggie My Sandwich. Finda, Finda boy, what's up, my favorite peanut? How we doing well, champ? Thanks for joining. Yeah, see that? It just dropped. Weird stuff, uh... Yogi Wan. Wowzers. Okay, let's get back, champs. Okie dokie. Oh, maybe I don't have to use an oven tray. Maybe I can put it in a cast iron pan. That's even nicer for the picture too. That's nice. Very good, very nice. Okay, so you have one. Okay, interesting. Yeah, black widows and wolf spiders is crazy, DJ Hawk. Wolf spiders we got in the Netherlands too now, since uh, two years, if I'm correct. And they are um, breeding pretty fast, man. They are um, with good climates. They can go uh, multiplying very fast, my friend. Yeah, if I see it on the TV again, or if it pops up, if I know it again, I will, uh, I will tell you, Barbus. It was something like, not from Wade Jeremy, but another guy with, uh, yeah. Historical fish or something, I'm not sure. We're gonna let it reduce a little petit peu. Hey, explorers, welcome in, buddy. Thanks for joining. Now, and if I'm correct, the wolf spiders are not that toxic as well, eh? It's just like a stung of a wasp or a bee, a wolf spider. I'm not sure though, I've never been stung by one, so uh, I can tell it myself, but I heard that. Oh, me too, DJ Hawk. I had it uh, last month, bro, on bed. I woke up middle of the night. It was not a toxic spider or a poisonous one, but it was just a big black one, and he was just on my nose, bro, so I swapped him off my face, and then I squashed him on the floor. Oh, crazy. Uh, we got wolves again. They're coming back again, uh, Port. Putain, yep. Yeah, the tiny jumpy spiders are fun, man. I think they got something, man. I, I like them a little bit. I don't know if if I'm talking about the same, but we got them as well in the Netherlands. Small, they're looking pretty nice, and they definitely jump, man. 
That are the real Spider-Mans. They're cute indeed, yep. Okay, I think we need uh, we need to do it in this cast iron pan. I think that's the best. What do we got here, by the way? Who did I see this? Not really port if I'm correct. Me neither, uh, Rumble Belly. Boar on your menu. Yeah, we don't have a lot of boar on our menu, uh, DJ Hunk. My wife is not a big fan of it. And uh, Ziva as well. Um, I'd rather eat myself pig too, but if you got a good boar, it should be really good though. I should try it another time someday, but I tried it two times and I'm not really a big fan of it. You know, if I need to eat it, I should eat it, but... Uh, what do we gotta take, guys and girls? We gotta chop the rosemary. Very fine and put it through before I forget. Extra flavor town. Oh, smoked pork belly, let's go pork. Good stuff, my man. That's the good stuff. If you're new to the channel, guys and girls, don't be afraid to follow. Have some fun over here, good vibes, good foods, five days a week. Tomorrow is my day off and Thursday I'm not live. I only do office work and offline work like editing videos, making Happy Chef packs, packing spices, cleaning the food cave, emails, Stuff like that. So welcome in. Me too, Putang. Okay, Sir Yogi One, okay. Yeah, that, that can depend too. Indeed, DJ Hawk, I heard from a hunter that where you eat the wild boars, it depends on the quality of ground and the quality of land from the flavor from the boar as well, you know? So you got a big chance that the fat and the flavor from the boars in Italy are way better than here. But I could be wrong, my man, I could be wrong, but a hunter said that to me in the past. I'm not a pro in that, but I did do a lot of wild in the past. We did a lot of hares, rabbits, pheasants, pigeons, gooses, duck, but uh, not a lot with boar I worked. Uh, deer as well, venison. Organic, yep, Venus and I work with too. Okay, Spooks, thanks. But I didn't have all the parts of a boar yet, okay guys? I only did spare ribs from it. But I heard the, that hunter was talking to me. We got a hunter here on the village. And he's, he's a big fan of boar too. He said, I'm making, uh, I'm making my ground beef from that. A lot of things he's making from that. And it should be really good. Yeah, kangaroo, I still want to try. I still didn't try kangaroo. It seems to be so tender. So tender. And I really want to try it someday. Okay, let's get that rosemary in there. I chop it really fine because then you don't got the big spines in there, you know? Oh, Iberico! Oh, man! Hey, DJ Hog, that's one of the best hams there is, bro. Iberico. If you got an entrecot Iberico, spare it from Iberico. 
pork loin from Iberico, man. The ham, the dried hams. Iberico is so freaking good, bro. That's so freaking good, my man. That is another level from pork. I love it. It's kind of the Wagyu from pork, you know? <coughs> Low rumble belly. <laughs> Pogger. Okay, we gotta stir this rosemary through there too, of course. What is fun to do this in a banana leaf? Well, Makes senseless. Hey, dog man. Let's go, baby. Donkey. You freaking donkey. I'm happy you like the sound alerts, famo. And it's nice to use some snacks as well, of course. Okay, I only forgot to take grated cheese out of the house. Lol. Winnie the Pooh, let's go. And I gotta have a little lunch. I think I'm gonna grab a sandwich as well. Need to get some uh, some work on that crumble. Le and the fish broth needs to go into the freezer, of course. Tomorrow I'm gonna eat leftover croquette. I still got some homemade croquette laying around. What I could do with the leftover bacon is fry it and top it off and around it. Something like that. Oh, take a look at this, guys. This is so freaking good. Oh, pickled tomatoes, pickled cucumber out of the garden. Chef, don't win nothing with your fingers. Bro, it's vinegar, man. That's true. Take a look at these beautiful little tomatoes. Mm. Oh. Mm. I like so good. Let's go, guys. Let's get some push ups, Dar Brett. Let's go, baby. Let's drop the push ups in there, darling. Doom, hope you're doing well, buddy. Thanks for joining, my man. Hydrate, good one, Spooks. This one is going to the fridge, needs to cool. This one is cold. Man, I was thinking as well to do something for a million, guys, because that's a lot, Bobbis. Ooh la la. <laughs> They're the first party push-ups coming in. Let's get it, Poggers. Let's get the chef working. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, they killed 20. Slow. Let's get it. Get that titties pumped. Slow. So we can really have some viewers on ASMR and stuff like that. Slow. <laughs> <clears throat> 21 especially for Dub Red Reno Rumble Betty coming in with the request dish let's go bro Park Champ what do you want me to make and please send me a whisper as a reminder let's get it man
You don't see it. Oh, then I need to put the camera lower for the next one. Then you can probably see it better. But am I too close to the camera now for the hugs? Now we uh, don't got hair. Or is it okay with the cam like this, guys? Weird, man. Much love, Rumble Betty. Thanks, bro. Robert, hope you're doing well, amigos. Thanks for joining. Good to cam like this, guys? I think so. No, 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 Hawk. There it go, bro. Let's get it, my fan, my man. One, two, three, four. I wanted to wait till you uh, were there to do them, but I could do it earlier already today because you're already a little while in the channel today. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, sorry, ten. Fourteen. It's been a long time coming. So let's get it. You ready? Hey. So I've been out here for a minute, got me grown out. Always moving around, feel like a stranger in my hometown. You ain't really. Okay, and I'm gonna grab myself some uh, grated cheese. Cheese! What a banger again, guys and girls. So now I show the world I've been trying to hide. Won't act like I ain't scared to leave, but this right here's my therapy. I went through. See it, believe it. Woo, woo. Okay, grated cheese. Give me a quick run, champs. Thank you for the patience. In a few months, I'm going back to basics like a crew cut, feeling used up. But now I'm grew done, grinding till I make a few bucks. Somebody, Somebody do some, hey. Yeah, I've been depressed, yeah, I've been a mess. But I guess you gotta hit your worst to make it to your best. And I still have my rainy days, I doubt those ever fade away. But I've been seeing colors set of all those other shades of gray. And I just had to find myself. I know life is great, and I just needed to remind myself. Yeah, I remember that a flower don't stay in bloom all year long. So one bad day don't make it all go wrong Opportunity knocks while I just hold the door I know that I just gotta focus more And I can finally see that heaven I've been going towards With angels singing praises through these vocal cords They want me to tell the world that I'm on the way Through this whole instrumental, every goal from the pencil. I'm a voice, not an echo. Yeah, this my wants and my fire. This my constant desire. This the sound of overcoming all those doubts in my mind. And it'll be worth it. It won't be perfect, but I'll have plaques and I'll have purpose. I love love and I'll have family. I'll have friends that understand me. I'll have a wife and the kids and a life for the rent, even though life getting shorter. One day I'll have it all, just not in that order. Back in the scene. Hey babe, um, I can't pick up Ziva darling, but she got a girlfriend to play as well, so it's not easy for me. I can't jump too long off, off the stream. 
Do I need to pick up at the gymnastics hall or at the other school? Today. Oh, nice of Yogi One, awesome. Sounds great. At the gym, okay. And you got Jaya with you, eh, babe? Is she gonna play with a girlfriend or not? Are you really late or are you just too late or? Okay. And are you a little bit too late or really late? Hmm. Oh, that's not handy though. Okay. Yeah, we got some otherwise scheduling with the streams this month, guys and girls. Todd is gone pretty much, and we, she got some evening shifts as well as some morning shifts, so I gotta schedule it different. I got to do evening streams or morning streams this month as well, guys, a little bit now and then. I don't know what you say, oh, that's handy. It is what it is. We got this, babe. We got this. Don't you worry. I know Roy Duvel. But I gotta say something, bro. Hundred percent true, Mrs. Kilted. I hope I get an answer though. I will send her a DM then because this is not uh
sorry guys, apologies. Much love, uh, Barbas. Thanks, bro. Yeah, that's it, Rumble Belly. <clears throat> I said it to Todd too. You know, if Todd is not on time, Ziva needs to go to snorkeling classes as well today. So that should be really not handy if I need to do that. Because then I need to stop streaming earlier as well. Todd didn't respond it anymore. Hmm. 100% spooks. 100% my man. Yame, yame, good for that tame. Lick it. Mm. Nice, Edu. Much love, bro. Hope you're gonna like it, champ. Go for it. Get the rapios, my man. Oh, nice. Nice rumble belly. I think you're gonna like it, bro. I hope you're gonna love it though, but it's epic, my man. You can do so much in there. Super chill.
Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. What's the time? 13.28, okay, in 20 minutes I need to go. 27 degrees over here, how? It's October, bruv. Um, I could start. Hmm, what's smart guys and girls? Uh, to uh, start on the crumble already, yay or nay? Ayo, mi se de, mi se de, mi se de, uh, uh, yo. Look like it's some full pool or something. What's up, bruh? Pull, pull, man. Paneer meal. Hey, let's go, sweet Amalia. Enjoy it, darling. Thanks for joining. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I feel you. They can be definitely pretty heavy, DJ Hawk. That's true, my man. Now, this is easy, simple, cheap, and the leftovers are all gone. So we can start fresh again for Friday, buy new groceries, stuff like that. Epic. Not sure what I'm gonna make for Defend Friday. Maybe a request dish. Maybe some discount food. Soon I want to make some more budget foods as well. No. We got some nice food coming up today. We got some leftover potatoes, some, uh, some carrots, a little bit of cream cheese, some bacon. Uh, we're doing that, we fried that, made that on flavor with some rosemary. And we're gonna put that in this cast iron now with cheese and breadcrumbs on top. And then we're gonna bake it in the oven to finish it later on. And then we get a super easy, nice leftover oven dish uh, today, uh, Amalia. So really basic today. Budget, basic, leftovers, but everybody can make it. And you can give your own swag on there too if you like, of course. Yeah, if they're heavy, they're definitely most of the time good ones, 100%. Nice top layer because we love that cheese. I don't need your good advice. I don't need you by my side. 
This is making the dish more expensive though, the grated cheese. You can always grate your cheese yourself or just only use breadcrumbs. That's possible too, of course. So this breadcrumbs and cheese will melt in each other and then it will have an extraordinary extra crisp, you know? Kapow! can even do it between your apple too for a crumble so that it's not getting too wet. You gotta season it first really good, you gotta bake it really hot. Um, Rumble belly your pan. You gotta bake your oven really hot. Most of the time it's on the description as well though. And if you've been seasoning it, seasoning it, baking it really hot, you can always rub it in with some olive oil or sunflower oil. Yeah, bake and oil is all you need, 100%. Okay, we can already scale our butter. Let me check my phone quickly. I got a recipe somewhere here. I think it's 100 butter or 100 flour, 50 butter, 50 sugar, something like that. It was. Yeah, 100 butter or 100 flour, 50 butter and 50 sugar. And then you can add more stuff yourself. 50 butter, 50 sugar, 100 flour. We can already do that. Na, 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 na. Getting out of flour, low. I can take the other flour um, as well. We got some. Where I put it? That though. I think it's in the house closet. I got some uh, Zealandish flour. I can use perfect for this today. Oh! Sounds good, Hawk, definitely. The good stuff, my man. I think I need to go to the house for that. How was the time now? Okay, we Gucci. This we already got scaled, measured. When you use it with skin, I know not everybody likes it, but we here don't got a problem with it. Mm. 
Para pam. Vanilla sugar, but I swear I had almonds over here somewhere. What is going on? Mystery after mystery today. Top and baking again, lol. And what, when time is baking on my days off, I'm getting raided in the food cave and I don't know what is gone? Todd, what you been doing to me, babe? Ooh, cappuccino. This is really weird, man. are just disappearing. <laughs> I'm getting pranked over here, guys. Yeah, indeed, sweet Amalia. Very grateful for this. Um, I always wanted to start myself a restaurant, but thanks to the foodie fam, I didn't want to start a restaurant anymore. And I stopped working as a chef, of course, but I focused myself a lot on streaming then when I had a part-time job. So then I decided, to start building a food cave for my savings and the support from the foodie fam. So I can say very grateful. This is kind of my office, my stream studio. I can do my office work um, as well on the Wednesdays and Thursdays. I can pack my spices in the Happy Chef packs here. Can do my emails, editing videos if I want to have some rest from the girls. I can uh, chill, chilling like a villain over here. Yeah, very grateful for that, Amalia. And you can check the video on my YouTube channel, by the way. We got a little slideshow on YouTube, thanks to Johnny. How the food cave has been built. I made some footage and Johnny made a nice edit from it. And if you're new to the channel, of course, guys and girls, don't be afraid to follow. Good vibes, good food, so welcome in. A little bit of vanilla sugar on there. We're gonna do it a little bit different with a crumble today, guys. A little petit peu different. I feel you, Hawk. I miss it as well, but not super bad, you know? I miss some kind of things. Let's go at two. That's 
hustle this a little bit. A little bit of cinnamon mix on there. Then we're gonna drop in a little bit of that red fruit. Sauce slash jelly. You can use it to plate it as well. We got a little bit of the foam left over too. This is gonna be nice. It's gonna be a nice marinade on there. Should love to add a little bit of lime juice too, but no, don't fall in there. So we don't add too much sugar on there. I'm gonna let this chill. So this is good. Incredible Dutchy with the two months. Let's go, bro. Thank you for continuing your sub. Appreciate the resub, man. Hope you're doing well, buddy. Welcome in. With the prime out of your mind. Let's go, bro. Enjoy the emos and that badge. And thank you for the Twitch Prime dance, brother. Whoop. Yeah, the Twitch Prime dance. Skirt. Enjoy the emos and that badge. And El Diablo. Hope you're doing well, too, broski. Good to see you, my man. Incredible Dutchie, big boy hawk. So let's get that. Foodie, Foodie fan for life. life, baby. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Appreciate it, my man. And just to follow as well, man. Hey, thank you for the follow too. Welcome in, buddy. Appreciate that. Welcome to the food cave. Good vibes, good foods. Thank you for the follow. Thank you, Woo. my man. Good vibes, good foods. I do a lot of cooking streams, but we love to do fishing as well. Outdoor, to the seaside, to the city, to the markets. The, the farmlands, but most of the time cooking, but I love to do IRL too if I can. Yesterday we did fishing and cooking at the same time. So thank you for the kind words, have a good stream and have a good day yourself. And thank you for the brand new follow <laughs> and the Twitch Prime, brother. Appreciate it, man. And El Diablo, hope you're doing well too, bro. That's it, Bobas. That's another sub. It's not going to the yacht from Besos. Much love, guys. Okay, nice man. Awesome. Hey, I appreciate that, man. Any sub is appreciated. Uh, of course, if you don't subscribe as well, guys, if you watch the ads for me, it's appreciated too. It's all support. Let's freaking get it. I need to do something before I'm gonna pick up Ziva. Oh, I need to almost pick up Ziva. I don't wanna leave you guys and girls too long. Ah, big boy Hawks, El Diablo, let's go, bro. We got this, homie. Let's get it, man. Now this we don't have to put in the fridge. Um, yeah, I, I gotta go pick up Ziva soon, guys. Tata's is in the hospital with her mama, with my mama-in-law. So I gotta be there for the little one. <laughs> Let's go, Bobbis. No, I think it's true. If, if, you, if you got Prime and you don't use your sub, guys. If you don't use your Prime sub every month, it's going back to Basils. That's definitely true. Nice man, awesome. Appreciate the Dutchy. I love Mokka, man. You know, Mokka is one of the kind of one of the streamers as well. Why I kind of started a little bit with streaming, my man. I love that dude, man. He's a good dude. Back in the days, he was playing Destiny One, 
He, he carried me a few times as well with Trials of Osiris. Man, back in the days. Wowzers, I was stuck to him, talking to him on TwitchCon as well, Amsterdam. Awesome dude, man. And nice that I can post my uh, can post my foods over there, of course. Low El Diablo, 100%, 100% bro. <laughs> now always, guys, family first. And I can't thank you enough that that's possible because if I was working for a boss, guys, I could never say, yo, bro, I'm going to pick up my daughter from school. Good luck with the mise en place. You say, bruh, get back here. Otherwise, you're fired, you know? So you don't know how much this means to me, guys and girls. It's really a freaking blessing with you all. Let's get it. Now the apple can chill and relax here a little bit while I'm gonna pick up Ziva. Thank you, Duals. Hope you're doing well, buddy. Now this we can just let stand out of the fridge. It's no problem. You can put it back in the fridge too if you like. But it can stand a few hours out of the fridge as well. It's going into the oven anyway, and it's gonna be destroyed anyway today. 100% El Diablo, 100% my man. Ooh, sounds good to us. Fruitcake. Hey guys, is the camera so bad from the stove now? Is it weird, the setup, the overlay? Is it weird and out of context or out of symmetry or is it okay? Me too, DJ Hawk. I had that too in the past, bro. Most of the time it's threatening though, but Um, looking Gucci? Okay, perfect, thank you. Perfecto. Yeah, we, I can't make the crumble yet, I need to wait. But I can take flour straight away from the house then. We got, don't got a lot of flour over here. But I really, I kind of swear that I took that Zeus flour, the Zealandic flour. It's so weird that I can't find it anymore. Hello, is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. You want some Kentucky fried? All I ever wanted is to dip it in your sauce. Yeah, little DJ Hog. Hey, you, beer, beer me. me. Beer me for always. always. That's the way it should be. Hey, you, beer me. Okay, the wall thank you, my man. Naturally. Oh, yeah, you missed the corners, but that's hard for this game, my man. Donkey. I can zoom it out a little bit, maybe, but or put it a little bit higher on the standard. Hamburger cheeseburger, Big Mac Whopper. Hamburger cheeseburger, Big, Big Mac, Mac Whopper. Hamburger cheeseburger, Big hot. Mac Whopper. But the guys from YouTube said that I could best set my cams like this with the flipping as well. Because of then I'm just putting my hands here from where my body is coming from too. You see, it's, it's more realistic. Otherwise my hands coming from the other side. If I don't do that. Now I totally wrecked it, lol. Because the data goal was pretty good on there. I think we're fine. I think we're fine, guys. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna pick up Ziva from school, fam. Should I put Be Right Back on or a YouTube video on? Yeah, she is done in eight minutes, so 
it's, it's, it's difficult, you know then, you gotta time it a little bit. I don't wanna let you guys and girls wait too long. YouTube, all good? You wanna see stream highlights? Past stream highlights or recipes from foods, guys? Recipes, cool. Yeah, you're probably gonna see some recipes as well you already saw in the past. But yeah, that is what it is, of course. Zero cool foie gras. Wow, that's such a good stuff. It's only unfortunate for the gooses though, but it's really good stuff. Welcome guys and girls to a new episode of Happy Chef TV. No French toast, we already said seen so much, Chef. Please, bro. Now since it's almost Christmas, no just kidding. Hey Dorpschek, what's up buddy? Steak's always good bro. Sandian, thank you for the follow, appreciate that, hope you're doing well. Okay beautiful people, welcome back to a new... Shut up chef, hello. Hey, welcome in Sandian. Hope you're doing well, good vibes, good foods. We love to do a lot of cooking and IRL, so welcome in. Welcome to the food cave. Good vibes, good foods. Thank you for the follow. Okay, Woo. guys and girls, I'm gonna put it on some YouTube videos from my YouTube channel. Don't be afraid to subscribe over there. We got some awesome content on YouTube too. Twitch is my main, of course. But um, we love to grow on YouTube too, slowly. Um, I'll be right back. I'm gonna pick my daughter up from school. You can see the little recipe. So thank you for the patience. Grozny, welcome in. Thanks for joining. Jimmy Yeo, welcome in too. Let's go, broskies. I'm going to be righty back. Let me take a little look. Arino over here. Let's get that food coming up. Look at that crazy face, Poggers. DJ Hawk, wow. what's up? To do I feel track. good with my love. <laughs> Let's go. Fam. Thank you so much for the gifts up again. I feel good, yeah. Did you hawk? Chalk26 gifted a tier 1 sub to Dorpskek 33. They have given 69 gift subs in the channel. 69, baby. Let's go, bro. Thank you for the love and support, my man. Dorpskek, enjoy the emotes in the batch. Hawk, big boy hawks. Thank you for the 69, my man. And let's get that. Foodie Foodie fair for life, life baby. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. I'll be right back, Poggers. Thank you for understanding. Let's get it. YouTube video on my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna make a basted ribeye steak with some nice herbs, some onions, some garlic. Mm -mm -mm. Can't wait. So don't forget to subscribe on the YouTube channel for more videos or like the video. Thank you for watching of course and what you really gotta do is check out my Twitch channel five days a week live at Twitch. Good vibes, good foods with my lovely foodie farmers. So enjoy the video and let's do this. <laughs> Okay, of course, let's first start with the ingredients we're gonna use today. We're gonna use some rosemary, a little bit of thyme, onion, garlic, some butter, a nice ribeye steak, some olive oil, pepper, and salt. Okay, beautiful people, let's walk through some steps we're gonna do. 
first we're gonna crush some garlic we're gonna chop the onion not too fine of course because we don't want to burn the onion then we're gonna pepper and salt the steak heat up the pan and g -g 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 grill it baby so let's start with the first step crush that garlic so let's now chop the onion in quarters We got the preps done already, so let's fire up the steak in a nice cast iron pan. We're gonna turn up the gas and let's get a lid eye. And what you don't gotta forget, make the pan screaming hot, baby. Screaming hot! So if you drip a little bit of water on it, it's like It's okay, let's go. Okay, the pot is hot, so let's cook it like it's hot and get it in the pot. Scoop. to twist them a little bit so my oil is doesn't burning and then we're gonna get it golden brown and we're gonna twist it baby okay now we're gonna add our onion our herbs and our butter and then we're gonna baste it baby Okay guys, it's beautiful, basted, grilled. So we're gonna get it out of the pan. We're gonna let it rest with a little bit of foil on top. And then we're gonna cut it after resting, of course. It's just an easy way to show you guys and girls how to make a nice basted steak. It's gonna be pure natural today. Of course you can add yourself some mashed potatoes, some fries, some salad, or do it on a sandwich, whatever you like. But today it's going about the pure purity of the beef. So let's rest it and in about five to ten minutes we're gonna cut it. Mm -mm -mm. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, we rested the steak around like ten minutes, a little bit longer, so we got the juices. Let's now cut that steak, put it on the plate, get a little bit of butter on there, of course, maybe some pepper and some salt, and then we're gonna give it to the guests. Let's let's cut that steak, baby. Oh my God, look at this beautiful steak, guys and girls. Nice rosé. I can't wait to taste it, so I'm gonna take a little piece. Mmm, let's go, baby. I'll give it to the guests. Mm. Yo, welcome back guys and girls with a new episode on my YouTube channel with your boy Happy Chef TV. Today we're gonna fillet a nice Dorado. So let's do this, baby. So guys and girls, today for the filleting video, we got a beautiful Dorado, beautiful fish to fillet and to prep a nice meal from. But first we're gonna descale it because he got some scales on his skin, of course, and it's not really nice to eat. So let's go to the sink and descale this bad boy. Yeah. So when I'm gonna descale my fish, I love to use a smaller knife. Um, I'm not gonna do it with the sharp piece of my blade, but with the, with the dull one. So we're gonna take it on his tail. I'm gonna leave a little bit of water running. And then we're gonna start with the tail to just scrape 
the scales off of the fish. Don't push too hard because you don't want to destruct your fillet of course. So just scrape off the scales and then you see the scales are coming off that fish. Don't forget to put it on the top of the bag. There can be some scales as well. Easy peasy, a little bit of water on there. The tummy of course. You just make sure all the skills are getting off of there. So twisting, and again, you start on the tail. Easy peasy, don't press too hard. Just scrape off all that skills. Flush it with a little bit of water. And you got the skills coming off nicely. So we de-skilled our fish. And now it's filleting time, baby. So let's go. Just like the last filleting video on my YouTube channel, a nice, sharp, flexible knife. And we're gonna start cutting on the head and filleting this beautiful fish. Cutting it in the head, in the back again, straight next to the pin bones. Cut it a little bit in. Again, along to the pin bones, to the belly sides, cut it, and then you got it coming up, a beautiful fillet. Take a look, wow. Now the other side, twist the fish, same, cut it in next to the head. Then we're gonna start on the tail, to the back, on the pin bones, and filleting this beautiful fish, so we can make a nice dish from that. Ooh, beauty. Straight to the belly sides. Watch out that you don't cut the inner sides of the belly because it can get some nasty juices out. And now we got two beautiful, easy dorado fillets. Beautiful, beautiful. You can always cut out the middle pin bones. Here you got some middle pin bones. You can cut them out. You can put them out with a tang as well. So yo, let's go. Making a beautiful dish from that soon. Yo guys and girls, thank you so much for watching this video again. Don't forget to drop a like or subscribe on my YouTube channel. You can always leave a comment if you want to see some other dishes in the future or check out my Twitch channel at Twitch with Happy Chef TV, cooking five days a week with a lot of fun with the foodie fam. We're doing IRL streams as well with the backpack and we got awesome giveaways with the Happy Chef packs. So thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Peace. Okay, my lovely foodie famers, welcome back with a new YouTube video on my YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna clean some squid to make a nice dish from it for maybe another video, but we definitely wanna show you how we're gonna clean the squid, of course. Don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel or like the video. And what you really gotta do is check out my Twitch channel, Happy Chef TV, streaming five days a week live at Twitch with the foodie fam. A lot of fun. So let's make this video, let's do this, and let's go, baby. <laughs> Okay, for cleaning the squid, beautiful people, I always use my chef knife. I love to use a little cutting board scraper and a spoon to scrape a little bit. Of course, a big enough and a clean cutting board. And I have a bowl with some water. You can clean them in the sink with some water as well, of course. But I'm doing with a bowl of water, we can refresh it easily too. So let's start and cleaning some squid, beautiful peeps. First, I'm gonna chop off the tentacles a little bit behind the eyes so we can take out as well his, his mouth a little bit super easy it's a little bit hard you can feel it with your fingers that it's a little bit hard you can just pull it out it's a little little mouth kind of teeth and then we can pull out his guts just easy pull out the guts and put it in a cup or in your trash can of course. Then I'm gonna get off the little side fins on the end. Very easy and if you're lucky you most of the time can pull off a little bit of skin already too. So that's very easy as well. You can scrape it too but most of the time you can just pick it off with your hands 
and in the meanwhile we're going to clean the rest of his body as well a little bit. We're going to pull off the skin very easy. Sometimes it's going a little bit more difficult. You can scrape it off as well with a spoon or your knife, but be careful. Don't destruct the meat of the squid, of course. Then inside we got this kind of like a backbone. You find them sometimes on the beach as well. In countries like the Netherlands, you can find it too. Birds love to eat it because there are a lot of fibers in there. But these are small squids, so they are kind of transparent. You can see just through them, super nice. We're gonna clean the inside too. You can cut rings from that. I love to scrape a little bit with the spoon here too. So you can scrape out a little bit of the rest of the guts. Can be a little bit yeah, nasty, but for real, it's super nice to prep this kind of seafood. So when we just scrape out the middle, we can just cut rings of it. Very easy, very nice. And then we got the calamari. And after that, we're going further on the tentacles and the head, of course. Here we got the tentacles. I'm gonna cut off the long ones because they got some hard pieces on there. I don't know really how to explain it, sorry for that, but we're gonna chop them off, put it with the rest of the trash, and then we're gonna check out the rest of the tentacles a little bit. Looking pretty good. You can slice or scrape off a little bit of the skin too, if you like. Don't press too hard because you're destructing the meat and that's a shame, of course. So that is kind of how I clean the squid. Okay guys and girls, welcome back to a new video with your boy Happy Chef TV on YouTube. Today we're gonna make some super nice Asian pulled chicken out of the slow cooker. So let's do this baby. Okay guys and girls, let's first start with the ingredients for the Asian chicken of course. Super much ingredients, super nice. So we're gonna start with some shallots, a little bit of fine cut of chili, a bell pepper, some fresh ginger, garlic, chicken thighs, you can take chicken fillet as well if you like, turmeric, honey, rice wine vinegar, soy, teriyaki or ketchup we call it in the Netherlands. We got some laurel leaves, some curry leaves and some lemon leaves, a little bit of happy chef herbs, some masala and some salt. So let's do this. Okay guys, first we're gonna cut some ingredients for this recipe for today, so let's start with it. Let's cut it, cut it, cut it, baby. Okay guys and girls, let's now cut our bell pepper in pieces. Slam dunk the funk. So we got a piece of ginger as well. You can de-skin it, cut the skin off if you like, but you can always use your micro grater and just grate it a little bit. So we're gonna grate it a little bit and then we're gonna start frying up some stuff, baby. Okay guys, let's first stir fry a little bit with the pan. We're gonna stir fry our ginger, our garlic, our shallots of course. We're gonna add some spices on there. Later on we're gonna put the bell pepper, stir fry it. So we gotta marinate to put in our slow cooker and then we're gonna put that chicken in there and then we're gonna let it chill out for about three hours. Ooh. Okay. 
Okay, first our shallots, garlic and ginger. Mm -mm -mm. Then we're gonna add some spices on top to meotate it a little bit. Get the flavors up, baby. So a little bit of masala. Around a tea, uh, tablespoon of masala. A little bit of Happy Chef spices. You can take a little bit of homemade spices as well or a mix at your own flavor. If it's Asian a little bit of course. We're gonna hustle it. A half a tablespoon of chili in there. Cut it chili. A little bit of turmeric. And then we're gonna add our bell pepper. And hustle it again, baby. Then we're gonna add some honey. Honey, honey, honey. Honey, honey. Honey, honey, honey tonight. Hustle it. A little bit of salt. Then we're gonna add some ketchup. And set the fire low. Some rice vinegar. And then we're gonna add a little bit of water as well. And then we're gonna add around 300 milliliters of water, sometimes 400 milliliters, but I'm using the cup from the teriyaki to flush it out of there. So we're gonna bring this uh, mixture marinade to the boil now, and then we're gonna add some extra spices like laurel leaves, lemon leaves, and some curry leaves, guys. Okay, the marinade is boiling now, so we're gonna stir it up a little bit with a spoon, get a little taste, and then we're gonna put it in the slow cooker together with the chicken thighs. Oh, damn, baby! Woo, let's go, get it in the slow cooker. So chicken in the slow cooker, marinade on top. Okay, and then about three hours, maybe a little bit more on the high settings, and let's get it cooking, baby. Three hours later. So we got a super duper slow cooked chicken, and we're gonna now get it out of the slow cooker. Then we're gonna separate the chicken from a marinade. We're gonna pull the chicken out of each other in the pan, and the marinade we're gonna reduce and boil a little bit. Then we're gonna add it together again, and then we're gonna have a super nice pulled Asian chicken. Mm. Let's go. Pull the chicken out of each other, guys. Let's take a look at that. Oh my gosh. Ooh la 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 la. So we got a pull chicken pull out of each other. We're gonna put it on fire already. And then we're gonna get some marinade in the pan and reduce it a little bit. And of course, if you find a little leaf in there, don't forget to get the leaves out, guys. It's not bad, but yo, it's not nice to eat as well. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, let's get this guys together, famo. Here we go. One, two, two. Oh my gosh. Look at that, baby. Mm -mm -mm. So stir it up a little bit while it's on a low heat. Put it on a little low heat. And then we're gonna, gonna do some plating. I chose today to do it on a bun with some salad and some chilies. I got some stuff left over from my stream live at Twitch. Don't be afraid to check out my stream on Twitch, of course, and drop a little follow. Good vibes, good foods with the foodie fam. But you can add some rice as well if you like, some potatoes or even some fries. It's super nice. It's just a little bit like pulled pork, but then from chicken. So let's plate it up and let's do this, baby. So we got a beautiful pulled Asian chicken bun over here with some salad chili dan dili. So let's give it to the guests. I hope you're gonna like it, but I think they do. Bow. Yo guys and girls, thank you so much again for watching the video. Much appreciated. Hope you had a lot of fun watching it. Don't forget to subscribe on the YouTube channel, of course. It's all for free. Or like a view of my videos. And what you really got to do is check out my Twitch channel. Streaming five, six days live at Twitch with the foodie fam. A lot of fun, good vibes, good foods, making a lot of things. Sometimes IRL streams. Freaking amazing. Thank you for watching again. And a special thanks for my Bauer brothers and my boy Johnny Scottish for making this all happen for me. I got to do a lot of things, but they doing a lot of things behind the screens as well. So... Much love for that, guys, and let's go, my three musketeers. Bam! Yeah, yeah. Let's go, famo. We're back in the casino. I just picked up my dog. Oh, whoa, 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 pushing the wrong button here. Uh, just picked up my daughter from school. She got a girlfriend to play with, so it took a little bit longer, but we're back in the scene. Vince, thank you. Indeed, I'm a Dutch guy, bro. Welcome in, Pius Bricks. Thank you too for joining. Thanks for the follow, by the way, Pius Bricks. Appreciate it, man. Welcome in. Welcome. Let's go to the food cave. Good vibes, good foods. Thank you for the follow. Should Woo. be fun to maybe do some sushi someday on my YouTube channel, uh, Spooks. I do got already YouTube short uh, and uh, Instagram reel and a TikTok with sushi. But thanks for loving the foods, guys and girls. We're going back on the leftovers for today and on the crumble. I don't got flour. I don't know where it disappeared though. So I'm going to do it different. I'm going to do it with zero zero flour. It's the only thing I have at the moment. So we had a little miscalculation. This can go into a bottle. But indeed, I got a little bit of a Louis van Gaal style -like accent, uh, Vince. But I hope you're doing well, buddy. Welcome in, man. Thanks for joining as a fellow Dutchie. Yeah, that's the downside on my channel, though. We can make people pretty hungry over here. If you do this at home, most of the time it's the best to use a funnel, guys. This is not the handiest. Just drop it in like I do now. But it can work as well. If you are... Having a hand-eye coordination from a gamer. <laughs> Thank you, Spooks and Etu. Appreciate it, guys. Where is the energy coming from? Yeah, I think the energy is coming from my mama a lot. Uh, my dad got a lot of energy, too. 
From my mom, I got a lot of spontaneous stuff and energy, but from my dad, I always learned to work hard. And I'm pretty energetic from myself, but the real secret is, guys, you all, you beautiful people, thanks to you, I get the energy extra. If you guys and girls were not supporting me or interacting with me or loving what I do, I would be an energe energy le lacking person doing nothing. No, just kidding, guys. That's a joke. But I definitely... A big, big part is the foodie fam. If you guys and girls were not supporting me and loving what we do together, I probably had way less energy. I'm still pretty energetic though. Friends of mine always say it too, Swan, you're always so freaking exploding. Sometimes it can be annoying, but yeah, it is how it is. And I am who I am, of course. Barley, what's up? Hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining. Let's get that Jaya going in. Let's go, guys. So we need 100 grams of flour. I'm gonna cheat. I thought I had the uh, Zealandic flour, but unfortunately, I don't got it anymore. It's super weird. Tath doesn't understand it too. There just disappeared two bags of flour in the house. It's so weird. We can't put our finger on there. A four, how you mean? That's all good, babe. No, I just uh, used it for everything. Um, you want to eat early for swimming classes or after that? I can finish it and you can heat it up if you like. Okie dokie. Pa -pa -da 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 -da. I think we can do the apple in a cast iron too. Cast iron. Pretty good body, thanks bro. Hope you too, my man. I hope you have a good start of the week so far. And let's rock and roll it again today, my man. <coughs> let's get it. No, it's going pretty well, uh, too. Thanks, bro. It's going pretty well, my man. I think it was just the shells and the chili from uh, Sunday. If I'm correct, Sunday, yeah, or Saturday. Yeah, really good, man. Really happy with that, bro. You know, you could just go back to the same mo uh, same um, issues again if you don't watch out. So, very happy that we're good, bro. Okay, we're gonna add the flour and the um, sugar together. We're gonna mix it a little bit. And Tat is okay that I already finished the food, so that's not a problem. And I'm gonna do a pinch of salt in there, not because we have to, just because I like. And we're gonna add a little bit of uh, seasonal cookie spices. Nate Dog, what's up? Hope you're doing well, bro. Thanks for joining. Yeah, I'm a bit nervous for tonight too, bro. It's gonna be hard to Naples. They have a good team. Well, hey, you never know, man. You never know. I think the butter is too, too, uh, how you say it? Too much on room temperature. But, hey, I'm not going to give up. You can always put it in the fridge for a little moment. I really gotta check outside if that guy is doing mowing because otherwise I have to turn off a machine here outside. Okay, nothing wrong. Oof. Last time he almost destroyed it. Hey, we always have a chance, Barley. Only, yeah, I can say the last matches that were not really on point, to be honest. The last matches were not really on point. But we're gonna see, bro. The ball is round and the grass is green.
Indeed, yeah, I feel you, my man. Hey, Jasper Chair, what's up? Hope you're doing well, buddy. Welcome in. Man, I should, do a, I should do a YouTube day again, guys and girls. Just showing off all the videos we've got. I should do that again someday. Maybe do that monthly or something. It's pretty good for boosting the YouTube channel too. And of course, hey, Twitch is 100% is, is my main. But we got so much footage on there and we worked so hard for that. Oh, we got a nice crumble coming up over here. We can put it in the fridge for a little moment. What I do want to do myself is add a little bit of um, vanilla syrup on there. Oh, this water is warm. Low. Yeah, we've been thinking about a slider cam and we tried it for the YouTube shots. But the YouTube team, the cameraman, they were not really a fan of it. So we do slide sometimes, but we use a towel. We put the camera on a towel and then we slide with the towel on the table. Oh, you mean for the live stream? Yeah, I'm not sure, man. I think, you know, I already got a lot to do. Music. Swapping the sands, we got the stream deck going on. I gotta cook, I gotta be interactive with the foodie fam. Sometimes I make shots as well for YouTube videos or Instagram or TikTok. <coughs> and I think it's maybe gonna be a little bit too much. I could maybe try it, but my cams are positioned um, tight. They're standing on a, on a tight position. So I think it's gonna be hard to use a slider for me too. Then you maybe need to have a, a cameraman, you know? Yeah, that can, you can do that too indeed, when it's continuing sliding from left to right, but you gotta kinda control it as well a little bit when you wanna let it slide, of course. And I think I'm already kinda cameraman, entertainer, um, a caster, you know, at the same time, and a cook. So I think it could be maybe pretty hard. Maybe it's getting too much then, you know? I'm not sure, maybe I'm wrong. That could be possible. Yeah, indeed, yeah, that's it, uh, bro. A little bit of that vanilla syrup in there. And then we're gonna do one more hustle. Put it in the fridge for a little moment. But you never know in the future, of course. Uh, reverse, you never know, buddy. I always love to renew my content, step by step, you know, making the best of it, learning new things, getting new adjustments on the stream. I always love to grow and to, uh, to be Renewing a bit. Then we gotta take a look. We gotta do that red fruit in the cast iron pan. Uh, the red fruit, the apple with red fruit, lol. It's exactly fitting as well though. Very nice guys. Very nice. Very good, very nice. Let's heat up the oven. Because I can't finish this already from the girls. That was okay from Tots, he said. So that's kind of perfect. In the meanwhile, I want to do some cleaning as well today because uh, I got a busy weekend. I got my days off on Wednesday, Thursdays. So if you're new to the stream, I'm not live on Wednesdays and Thursdays. I'm doing offline content. I'm busy with editing, 
making videos, posting socials, making Happy Chef spices, packing Happy Chef packs, put them on the mail, cleaning the food cave. You know, that kind of things I do on Wednesday and Thursdays. And of course, I, time with the family in the evenings and in the afternoons most of the time. Hey, bro, what are you doing, man? I need to buy a new stop for my sink. Hamel Tools, let's go, bro. Welcome in. Thanks for joining, my man. Pretty good. Just picked Tifa up from school with a girlfriend, so they're gonna play. Tata's just back home from the hospital with her mama, so everything just exactly fitted. Is that an Etna stove? It's an Etna stove, Sandine. And it's. I first should buy a new stove, thanks to the Foodie Fam with a dono goal 50 50, 50% 50 Foodie Fam, 50% me. I am rubbish at that moment because I didn't buy a new stove, but I'm gonna invest the money for other things for stream a microphone cameras, uh, cooking gear, stuff like that. So it will be invested in the stream 100%. But a friend of mine is a mechanic and he's making a lot of noise in the oven. So I was afraid that he was going to break, but he said that's such a good gas stove, oven, old school, really, really high quality. So he said, it's working good. It's only making some noise, but definitely don't give up on it. So that's why I didn't bought myself a new stove and I'm probably not going to do that uh, anytime soon. Of course, I will definitely invest the money in the stream, guys. Don't get me wrong. Um, it's not like a scam or something. Totally not. I should never do that. But yeah, if it's not necessary, why should you, you know? Then it's more a luxury problem. You buy something, but you kind of not really need to buy. And I thought it needed to be so. Ooh, sounds good, Hamiltons. Let's go. Yeah, Sandy, and this one is already 14 years old too, man. But it are really good stoves, 100%. So, that's why I keep it up. And we can always um, substitute it if it's really breaking up. Canadian Spice from the Murray teams. Okay. With duck fat, that's so good, man. Or ox fat, that's really good too, by the way. Let's go, Roberti. Keep it clean, keep it cool. Nipples in the wind. Yeah, also with, yep. That's super good to fry in, man. One of the best things, they say. You can use it for a long time as well, if I'm correct.
Back at it. And any plans for the week, guys and girls, or any special things you're gonna try to cook, or upcoming weekend already you plan for special cooking, or you're going out for dinner, or you got leftovers? What's all going on? Playing a new game, or buying a new game? Watching some sports, or a new movie or series? Okay, nice. And how's that played up game, by the way, guys and girls? I hear a lot of people talking about the played up game. Yeah, I didn't have a lot of time to game lately, to be honest. So maybe once, once a week, if I'm lucky, twice a week. But Oh, happy that you wasn't that very sick then indeed, Sandin. And uh, good to hear that you're going out of quarantine again then, so you can do some stuff again. Nice, Mr. Sheep, right? get that cool master monitor, bro. GG's, my man, monitors, let's go. This is gonna be an epic game, uh, Barley. 100%, <coughs> my man. God of War is lit, bro. And his son is growing up more and more at the moment, of course. Let's put this in the oven. Then we're gonna take a look if we can make something nice from it. Or that's the plan, fam. What I will do in the meanwhile, we don't need the stove anymore. I'm gonna clean the stove a little bit extra. Yeah, God of War is an epic game, 100%. I played it a lot too, but the last part I didn't play it anymore. I watched it on stream. So this Friday I will stream a little bit earlier, that's really unfortunate, I hope I can, can stretch it a little bit, because I got the girls Friday, Todd needs to work an evening shift, but I try to be streaming as long as possible Friday, maybe I can make pancakes or something for Ziva, then she maybe wants to join me into the food cave on the foodie fam Friday, F -f 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 five bomb Friday, and Saturday Todd needs to work um, in morning shift, so Saturday I will stream later, but we're probably gonna do some evening stream. We're gonna drink a beer, make some tapas, or a steak, or a surf and turf, I'm not sure, or a request dish, it could be possible too. But I got a little bit different times upcoming weekend. But just like the foodie fam always says, family first. Okay, Barley, okay. Yeah, it's an epic story, man. I love the story times as well from, uh, from God of War. I'm always a big fan of that kind of gods. I'm a big fan of that uh, mythologic stuff, you know? Or how you call it. I'm definitely excited al always about the old school civilizations like Rome, the Mongols, Aztecs, the Mayas, Incas, um, you know? the Neanderthalers, um, the barbarians, stuff like that. I'm really interested in that. Let's go Roy Duvel. Yeah, buddy. Uh, what you got in the house, Sandien? Maybe we can uh, come on an ID together. We got an epic chat. We always can find IDs together. So if you got some ingredients in the house, maybe we can come up with something. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I didn't play it. I do, did play older, Assassin's Creed, but kind of since I'm streaming uh, and since I got kids, I game less than I did, but I played a lot of Call of Duty. I'm a big fan of Warzone, Rebirth Island. I played Rocket League, Fall Guys, um, but I don't game as much as I did before. Oh, that sounds good, Roy Duvel. Make me crazy. I'm not sure what the weather is gonna be Friday, but that we could do too. 
if we have a mod, uh, mod VIP stream, we could do it in the springtime on the beach with a barbecue and a beer. That, that's fun too, though. That's not a bad idea, Roy Duvel. Not a bad idea at all, bro. Yeah, I think I think so too, uh, Sandy. In, but there's a bunch of time in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, if I'm correct or not, or is it doable? Yeah, I got a party tent too. Yeah, but I can't I can't prep that for Friday, Roy Duvel, because if I first had the kids, you know, then it's hard to prep uh, a mold for VIP barbecue or dinner as well but in the spring that could be definitely possible man i got a big party tent i got a small party tent so yeah that's it on the end yeah i'm not sure if i got the time for that i should love to try because if i'm gaming i'm not streaming i'm most of the time um how you say that play games in my time off to relax a little bit, you know? Hey, Port, this, you got a really good point over there, bro. Some people say to me, and sometimes they send whispers, you're doing it as if you are busy. Um, you know, uh, I have kids too, but... Uh, but for real, man, it takes a lot of time. I'm not doing it if I'm busy. I'm just busy with streaming, with taking care of the family. We got a pre pretty big household as well that needs to be clean. You know, we got a lot of things to do. And especially my wife is working as well, of course. So we don't got a lot of babysitters. Then you got to do it. You just got to do it. If we should have more babysitters, it's a different story. But of course, my dad is never babysitting. My father-in-law passed away when I was 22, 21, Tant was 20, and my mama passed away and we don't got a lot of babysitters around us. So we most of the time take care of it ourselves. We don't bring the kids to, to daycare a lot too. So sometimes indeed it takes a lot of time. Yeah, pretty good sign and strike. Hope you're doing well too, buddy. Thanks for joining. Welcome in. Hope you're having a terrific Tuesday. Much love, Sandy. Appreciate that a lot. Yeah, and I don't want to complain. I don't mean this on a bad way, guys and girls. I love to do it. I love to stream. I love to be there for the kids, for the family. So for me, it's 100% love and keep on going. Let's go, passion. We got to get the passion, champs. 100%. That's why we roll. Nice sauce. Gonna be simple plating and simple dishes today, guys. Apologies for that, but it is what it is. We gotta use the leftovers. What I could do for this dish. Oh, I think that's nice. If I make some mustard mayo to spread it on the plate. Got here a little bit leftover mustard to finish. I'm gonna take some mayo in the house. What's your favorite way to make fried chicken? Yeah, I love Asian style chicken. I love Kentucky fried chicken, butter chicken. For me, if it's prepped good, man, I like it, bro. I love chicken, man. I even love it when it's not, deep, uh, when it's not uh, fried, when it's slow cooked or when it's oven grilled or... October, let's go. Don't be afraid to sup. Let's get it at two, poggers. I'm gonna get a quick scoop of mayonnaise in this jar in the house, and then I'm gonna do some some uh, so a little bit of mirin in there. We're gonna shake it, a little bit of honey, and then we're gonna make a nice little mustard spread from the plate. It's gonna fit well with this main dinner. I don't got mayonnaise over here, so.
Cause you know me through and through When you are around I see the stars come out for you If we go Boom. We can get rid of this as well. Boom. Board, my man. Food hype. Can we get that? Did it? Whoop. Did it? Did it? Did it? hype. Woohoo! Port, my bro, for sure. Thank you for the did it? Did it? hype. Come on in with the did it? Did it? hype. Port, thank you for the long time of love and support, my man. Big boy hugs. Still believing in the channel. Being part for the channel for a long, long time already, my man. Thanks for the ten euros. Foodie Foodie for every life. Night, baby. Let's, Let's go, go Parker. Let's, Let's get it. But I love fried chicken, Silent Strike. I think if I do it in tempura, I like it even. Yeah, I, I really am a big fan of things fried in tempura. If it's nice and crunchy, of course. So we're gonna put a little bit of marine in here. Not too much, a little bit of rice vinegar. Let's take a look how the fridge is doing here. Fridge is doing okay, very nice. A little petit peu. Let's go. And a little bit of honey, honey. Honey, honey, yeah. And if you're new to the channel, of course, guys and girls, don't be afraid to follow. It's much appreciated. Good vibes, good foods, and welcome in. So then we use that mustard as well, really good. 